Hello and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately this week we lost half of our video to color bars again. So I've spent a, quite a bit of time, or in fact a whole, virtually a whole day, upgrading all the equipment to the latest firmware version or software version. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with this stuff. It's yeah, it works and works and works, and then it just suddenly um, doesn't work. So yeah, I think Microsoft has got a lot to do with it because they're constantly updating the the uh, laptop and sending out warnings of impending doom because support for Windows 10 is ending next year. So I think Microsoft is trying to get everyone to upgrade. <sighs> oh well, it's not all bad news. I've recorded most of the second half of what I did to this radio and I also have the valves for the other two, the portable ones. This has been a bit of a disaster, this radio. Um, it started off as just a new case. It was pretty rough to start with, but yeah, I think we've got a, a dead valve in there, although I've changed um, four out from other radios. I don't have a new one. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, sit back and watch what remains of the video. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing and all that jazz. And hopefully things will go better in the future. Weekend. We're crinelling, one race and drumlining second and another, so they're, they're all on fire at the moment. And, uh, no, it's really good, and we've got some really nice young horses coming along as well. Oh, brilliant. Well, good luck um, on Saturday. It'll be brilliant to see um, a great performance from Knight's Choice, and who knows? We might see you in Melbourne once again in the spring. And it would be fabulous. I look forward to seeing it happening. Good on you, Sheila. Sheila Lackson Thanks. joining us there. Um, what a star she is, and of course, um, I wonder if our next guest can remember. Another day. And what I've done is I've put a tag strip in here, taken out the old uh, capacitor wherever I put it. it. Wasn't that one. Anyway, um, it. Oh, there it is. So I don't know quite what this one was. Because as you can see, the labeling has been effectively removed on it. I've given the top a bit of a, well, quite a bit of a clean and sprayed some zinc on it. Not very neatly, I will add, because this is pretty rough this um, chassis so I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on it um, yeah so I'm just about to solder in a new capacitor um, where's the old one anyway it's a, a Phillips mustard cap and it's um, yeah in the way <laughs> so I thought when I pulled it out I may as well just replace it with a new one so that's where I'm at at the moment I'll be back at in a couple of minutes once I've soldered the um, three wires four wires uh, resistor and the cap onto it oh and the main cap so yeah there's quite a bit of fiddly 
messy work to be done in there and I'll be back right so I've completed all that and I'll just bring it in a bit closer so you can see it yeah there it is and um, let's try bringing it up slowly on the Bariac and we'll watch for um, shorts so we're at 80 now and we've got a bit of a glow from the globe which means we're not shorting anything seriously uh, we're up to 120, 140, 150 you can hear the hum and it's coming in so that's at 180 220 and it's still humming pretty badly but not quite as badly so it obviously needs an earth on it and even though this is a three pin and three conductor wire it's still not working all that well now that doesn't sound very well does it that sounds a bit better than it was so I'm going to change the 6AR7 I've got a couple here at, but I think they're pretty much dead so this is one of them and this is the other one I think this is the one out of the radio so we'll try this one see if it's any better the one that's in it is out of another radio so we'll see how we go it probably needs a really good alignment which I'll do in a minute but I do want to get it interesting oh here it is That one's very, very weak. So that one can go in the bin. I've got about 30 dead valves in the bin at the moment under here, so from all those radios. So I'm running very low on spare valves. This is very tight, this, which is good, but means it's hard to get out okay so that one's in the bin um, which one was in it I think that one was in it so we'll try this one again this was the one that was in it now that uh, before so we'll try this one There we go. Let's turn this on. It's on two twenty. 
which is about 10 volts lower than line voltage. Really got bad hum, haven't we? Well, that's very similar to the other one. Yeah, I suspect it might be a really badly out of alignment. I'll recheck all the resistors and we'll see what we've got. But I suspect it's that 6AR7. And I'll have to buy another one of those. And I'll have to replace this. So it's rock hard. And yeah, the dial doesn't turn properly. Okay, I'll be back after I've done the check the, all the resistors again. Right, so there's the problem. Or maybe one of them. Um... When I measured this before, it was okay, but I've since put this capacitor on there, and um, yeah, you can see. So, yeah, this resistor is open, and it was measuring correctly before. So, I'll have to go down to JCAR and get a 5 watt jobby so this is 3 watts which of course I don't make anymore so until then we'll have to leave this project I'll put a new 150 ohm resistor in this one seems to be dead for some reason I've also put a new power cord on it temporarily and it's fully earthed so everything is earthed and let's have a listen and we'll see what's going on I hopeful but no still making the garbled rubbish It does, the speaker doesn't sound all that crash hot, but it's one of the ones with the different magnet on it to normal. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is try the signal tracer and we'll see how that goes. So I'll just set that up and be back in a flash. Right, well, I can't trace anything beyond the second IF can so I don't know whether something is broken in or um, one of the wires is broken in the IF cans or something like that it could be still that valve the signal is getting through this is the odd thing it could also be the speaker itself um, because it doesn't sound all that crash hot but why all the hum so there's a lot of hum on this and I've put quite large uh, capacitors in there I'm going to 
just try one more thing which is the speaker and I'll be back otherwise I'm get, going to give up until we get another valve okay so this is the replacement speaker and let's take these apart and um, it does sound much better but it's got zero sensitivity because it's at full volume um, I don't know whether it just needs a really good alignment these are not very sensitive anyway but they should be much better than this because this is a pretty strong local station